Five forward, a 6'11 sophomore from Angola, New York, number 32, Christian Lakeman. Board two, for UCLA forward, a 6'10 sophomore from Simi Valley, California, number 42, Don McClain. Four two at four, the six five senior from Fayetteville, North Carolina, number twenty one, Robert Bricky. For UCLA at center, the six eight freshman from Glendora, California, number thirty, Tracy Murray. Four two at center, the six ten senior from Bluefield, New Jersey, number thirty, Ala Abdel Nabi. For UCLA at guard, the 6 feet sophomore from Merced, California, number 12, Gerald Matkins. For two at guard, the 6 4 senior from University Park, Illinois, number three, Bill Henderson. For UCLA at guard, a 5 11 sophomore from Compton, California, number 15, Derek Martin. Duke at guard, the sixth with the freshman from Jersey City, New Jersey, number 11, Bobby Hurley. And introducing the head coaches for the UCLA Bruins in his second season, Jim Hatter. For the Duke Blue Devils in his tenth season, Mike Krzyzewski. Duke is 9-1 and one in the Meadowlands. Mike Krzyzewski said the building doesn't win a game. Back for UCLA and Duke in just a moment. Did you know, not all business calls from banks in Boston to San Francisco at 2 p.m. cost the same. Nobody beats our interest rates. With AT&T Pro Watts, for this three and a half minute business call, you can get AT&T quality for prices that are extremely competitive. Even though the other company would like you to believe, they always save you lots of money. Where's my big savings? Don't ask me. Value, another AT&T advantage. The product, the vehicles, the testing grounds, the results. STP oil treatment is the edge. A real good love. On BASF videotape, your children will never grow old. BASF, tape that lasts forever. That's my job, honey. I mean, that's how we get the things we need and get to live in a big house. One day, it could all come down to a few inches. For those few inches, it's good to know you have Goodyear tires. We could get a smaller house. Thank you, Tom. That's why we say the best tires in the world have Goodyear written all over them. Back at the Meadowlands Arena. For the second half of the semifinal, the officials, Jody Sylvester, John Koskinen, and Sonny Holmes. Sylvester from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Koskinen out of Philadelphia. Holmes from Forest City, Arkansas. Controlled by Duke. Ala Abdel Nabi with the first shot of the game. And the Bloomfield senior hits. Uh, he's been on a roll as of late, looking to score. Excellent facing the basket. And in, in the low post, a nice jump hook. Derek Martin and Gerald Matkins, the guards. McLean, number 42. Henderson is guarding Matkins. Here's McLean. And the basket counts in a foul. He's the leading scorer, is Don McLean, but has been struggling offensively in this tournament. They need a big game out of McLean and Trevor Wilson. An excellent pair of front court performers who, during the course of the year, have been there game in and game out. Foul is on Ala Abdel Nabi. UCLA has won six of its last seven. Their only loss to Arizona. Duke winning two after losing four of their last six. Bobby Hurley. Main thing for UCLA, uh, Duke is running a passing game. The big thing is don't get beat off the dribble. Abdel Nabi goes in too far under, and here comes UCLA. Derek Martin, sophomore, and 
It's laid in by Tracy Murray. He was the guy who hit the winning free throw with nine seconds to go to beat Kansas. What a great catch that was. That was down around his shoelace. Murray tries to get it to Leitner. It's still Duke ball. Jim Harrick, the head coach in his second year after years at Pepperdine. Arkansas, for the first time, gets to the final eight since 79 with a convincing victory over Carolina. Leitner. Talk about a guy who's been struggling offensively. Christian Leitner has in a big way lately. That was an excellent lot, as They know that UCLA will be in a 2-3 zone on all out-of-bounds plays on the baseline. There's a good matchup. Ricky and Trevor Wilson. UCLA still has the ball. Coach K from Duke, very sound, thinking that the way you get here is rebounding in defense, and that's the way you move on. He's very high on their tenacious defense. Here's Trevor Wilson. Eric Martin misses outside the rebound by Layton. Both teams like to push the basketball. They'd love to play in the high 80s. Layton misses from outside, but Abdel Nabi converts. Second basket for Allah Abdel Nabi. That name translates as servant of the prophet. That's what Abdel Nabi means. Well, he's been playing big in the last three ball games. Matkins inside bodies and posted up well against Henderson. Well, one thing you cannot do when you guard UCLA is fall asleep on any cutters. They have excellent quickness and extremely quick jumping ability. Abdel Nabi working on Murray. And the rebound by McLean. And a foul called against UCLA. We want to tell our viewers, the audience, expecting the Texas Longhorns and Xavier Musketeers in the other Midwest regional semifinal in Dallas. They'll be leaving us shortly, but they'll be kept up to date with the progress of this game. Wilson committing the foul. Henderson from the corner with a three misses McLean the rebound. Look it up. There is Wilson. Ricky trying to defend, and Trevor Wilson beats him down court. That's UCLA at their best. You cannot fall asleep. They're extremely quick, and Wilson, even though he's underneath rebounding, will always fill that outside lane. Wilson and Ricky will be a big matchup tonight. Leitner in and out on the baseline. Duke still controls. Abdel Nabi, basket counts and a foul. Ala Abdel Nabi did not play well here a year ago, but he's off to a brilliant start. Now watch this long pass, the athletic ability right here. Look at that catch. Did not only catch it, but then the presence to keep it that he could convert it into a quick score. Wilson with the fast break release. Tracy Murray commits the foul, and Abdel Nabi, no question that Mike Krzyzewski wants to work on Murray, who's playing out of position, a forward playing center for UCLA. Well, he's a small 6'7", and he's going against Allah, and Allah is really playing excellent power basketball these days. Playing with a lot of confidence. Murray Short gets to his own rebound. And Hurley came running in, and they'll call the Duke Blue Devils with a foul. It'll be their second team foul, and it'll be Hurley's first. Now, for our fans who have not seen UCLA play this year, the uh, Tracy Murray is the center at 6'7", but he is an outstanding three-point shooter. He has the mark for one year as a high school player with 125 in the state of California. Ooh. Mighty prolific numbers. Leitner really guarding McLean tightly. Matkins behind the Martin. Plenty of time. Martin goes in. And the rebound by Robert Bricky. Bricky's had a terrific tournament thus far, and Henderson misses Wilson. Here comes UCLA. There's Trevor Wilson off the bank. Trevor Wilson, Roy Williams in Kansas said he may be the fastest player his size in America. Baseline to baseline. Hey, now we're going to resurrect uh, some old timers. Sam Jones from the Celtics down the side off the glass. I mean, I haven't seen this in a long time, and he loves that shot, Trevor Wilson. Robert Ricky and Henderson comes up for the rebound and loses it to Wilson. Wilson can handle the ball, and the blocking foul will be called against Ricky of the Blue Devils. His first. 
Now watch, here he comes down in here. See, he's excellent at pulling up without putting it down and banking that shot in. And that looks difficult, but all the great shooters know how to play the glass at that angle from 15 feet. That was Trevor Wilson, who suffered an injured wrist during the year, and UCLA lost five games when he did against USC. Leitner called for the foul. McLean too quick trying to go around. And already Duke has four team fouls. Already UCLA, five fast break opportunities, eight points. This is something different. The body panels will never rest. The seats can be arranged to seat up to seven. And ask yourself, have you ever traveled like this before? Meet the new Family Lumina APV. When it comes to new ideas for the family, nobody's winning like. The heartbeat of America, that's today's Chevrolet. In the house of action follows my main man, Money. This is Money slamming in Detroit, in Philly, Boston. Must be a bird's eye view. D.C., L.A., the act. Shut up, I'm doing a Nike commercial here. Shut up. The other L.A., Texas. Yeah! Denver, some serious hang time. Must be the mountain air. San Francisco, Moscow, Paris. We oui, weep. Oui. Walla Walla, Budapest, the Tranquility. Everyone knows about my expansive vocabulary and the delineations I take with language. I went to electrocution school. So when I say the wrong thing at the right time, it's funny. But only because I'm in control. But if you're drinking and you start talking like me, then it's a good inclination that you're not in control. And that's not funny. You see, responsible drinking is as easy as knowing when to say the right thing at the right time. To know when to say when. And hey, even I could say that. A reminder from Budweiser. Based on a true story, neighbor turned against neighbor, family against family, white against black, common ground, Sunday. Arkansas's already won in Dallas. Later on, Xavier in Texas, and that audience will be leaving us shortly. They'll be kept up to date on what happens here at East Rutherford between Duke and UCLA. Murray inbounding. Wilson misses the shot in close. Abdel Nabi with the rebound. These teams have not met since 1966. UCLA has won four of the six previous meetings, including the 64 National Championship game. Here's Phil Henderson coming around a screen. Leitner with a good offensive rebound and tips in. Very aggressive is Leitner coming out here in the first half. Well, this is where Duke has a major plus, and that is its size and strength inside. They must continue to hit the offensive glass and, and get the easy basket. Wilson high post working against Bricky. Derek Martin in the lane. Here's Abdel Nabi with another rebound. And Duke trying to break the tie. Wilson giving Bricky the outside shot. He's more effective inside. Hurley with a step on Martin beats him nicely. Oh, he can do that. He can't let him dribble to his right because when he when he goes right down into the lane area, he'll go for the shot. Duke by two. Running off the high post, McLean. Trevor Wilson with Leitner in his face. And Leitner the rebound. Leitner is playing superbly at both ends here with about five minutes going by in this first half. Now he's having a difficult time breathing right now. He just called over to Coach K to take him out. He's had a nasal problem and it hasn't been under medication in the last month. Wide open is Bricky in the corner. UCLA will try to give him the outside shot and the foul against Duke inside. And we'll have substitutions coming in. Three new players for the Blue Devils and two for the Bruins. Leitner picks up his second personal foul. Greg Kubek. Brian Davis and Thomas Hill have all come in for Duke. Kevin Walker, a 6'10 senior, who started the year at center for UCLA, has come in. A traveling ball turns it over to Duke. We're at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey. 
If Duke and UCLA in the Eastern Regional, the winner of this game will face Connecticut on Saturday for the right to go to the Final Four. Now UCLA in a 2-3 zone, and they are very, very quick. Henderson's shot is missed and a push inside against UCLA, against Duke. Already the Blue Devils have committed 16 fouls, and the Bruins will be in the bonus with the next Duke foul. All right, Duke now for the second time in a row will be in a 2-2-1. This is something which Coach K put in over the last three-week period, and it, it just caused a turnover with Walker on the previous play. They're calling fouls very tight here at the beginning, and Duke now has committed a 17 foul as Phil Henderson, and so the one and one is in effect. Mike Krzyzewski not at all happy with the officiating thus far. Well, he's not, he's not happy because he's looking for incidental contact there because he wants to go down the floor, play man-to-man -man pressure, and then give you that three uh, that two two one three quarter coat zone also to change things up he wants contact here's matkins there's a sophomore misses the front end and there's mclean hill fighting out of bounds it's still ucla ball mitchell butler a 6-5 freshman from inglewood is in the game for ucla We'll have Walker inbounds. He's 6'10", but he too is a good three-point shooter, as is Murray, as you mentioned. It just seems the bigger you are here. The more liberties you have to take a three-point shot. UCLA already into the bonus. More than six minutes into this game. Walker banks it in. Kevin Walker started the first 11 games. Jim Harris likes his experience in this game against Duke. Well, he said he'd get more playing time because they need a size in there. Hurley throws it through a crowd, and it's going to be Duke's ball. Christian Layton back into the game, replacing Greg Kubik. Uh, with uh, Mitchell Butler and Matkins back there in the top of that zone, they're 6'3 and 6'5, and they do an excellent job by guard penetration. Quick hand. Henderson. It's a three pointer. Bill Henderson lead, averaging 18 a game. And Duke leads it 16 to 13. Well, he's their number one three point shooter. He's attempted 153 already this year. Trevor Wilson and trying to save it as Butler, he can't. And he turn it away. If you missed this game, it was a gem. One for the memory. Connecticut, 71 to 70. Tate George of Newark, New Jersey, hit the basket at the buzzer. One second to go. Connecticut threw it in from under their own basket. Don't hold, don't hold. The winner of this game will face the Huskies Saturday. It's an excellent matchup. Matkins on Henderson. Matkins being their defensive stopper. Leighton calling for the ball. Now fronting him is Kevin Walker. There's the lob pass into Leighton from Hill. Too short, and here comes Trevor Wilson. And Wilson is fouled. And continually, whoever it is, whether it's Brooke, Ricky, or Davis, they're going to have to watch Wilson down. See, this is where UCLA does well. Watch how Walker plays him on the top side. The ball goes back to the top of the circle. See, he fronts. Now, when that pass, here comes... Right, McQueen from the opposite side. Yeah, you have to admire the foot quickness and the rotation of the people in the back of the UCLA, whether they're playing man or zone. Ryan Davis with a second foul. Ala Abdel Nabi and Robert Bricky both into the game. Derek Martin checks in for UCLA, along with Tracy Murray. See, as you watch this ball game today. UCLA, very, very clever in the open floor. They have a number of guys who can end the break. And by that, I mean not just score the layups or the open jumpers, but they get fouled going to the basket. 12-19 remaining in the first half. Duke leading 16-15. to 15. UCLA had an early three-point lead. Duke also established that same margin. Early against Martin. <laughs> Good bounce pass to Christian Leitner, and Leitner off to a terrific start, has six points for Duke. Well, they're, they're knocking off uh, Derek Martin with outside high pitch so that Hurley can get loose to make the play. 
Leitner got a hand on it. And they're going to call travel or, or is it no. a foul against Stu? That's a foul. Now you'll see the penetration by Hurley. Watch the bounce pass, the nice catch, and then no dribble, almost the pass. Hurley committing a second foul. Bill McCaffrey. 6'3 freshman from Allentown has come into the game, destined to be a starter next year. Good shooter. Here's Walker shooting the one and one. Later the rebound. Duke by three. McCaffrey pulls up, and the UCLA foul will be against Mitchell Butler, and that'll send McCaffrey. Good looking freshman to the free throw line. Now McCaffrey is an outstanding offensive player. He came out of high school, an all stater out of uh, Pennsylvania, and he's looking for the shot all the time. And, and you just can't gamble on him because if you do, he'll make you pay. Duke is an excellent free throw shooting team. Can hardly find a weak spot there. Four guys on this ball club shooting over 80, and the man on the foul line right now is one of them. Thank you. Misses the second one. We won't take the blame. Martin going in two on one to Murray, but traveling is Martin waited a little too long to give it up. Martin's got a lot. He's a real quick spinner out there, and he really has some beautiful moves to the basket. In the 80s, Honda became known for its reliable, feature-filled cars. You ready, Dad? Love this car. But today, the 90s begin with the new Geo Prism. The quality sedan with 16-valve performance, Prism is designed for years of carefree driving with more of the features and little extras that make life easier. So you know you'll be friends for a long time. Get to know the new Geo Prism at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Getting to know you. Gillette announces a razor that can sense the individual needs of your face. Gillette, the best a man can get. Introducing the extraordinary Gillette Sensor Shaving System. Sensor blades are mounted on responsive springs to continuously sense and adjust to your face for the best shave a man can get. Closer, smoother, safer. New Gillette Sensor. Gillette, the best. Every 500 years or so, an exceptional printer comes along. Introducing the IBM Laser Printer with a revolutionary design that will make it the new standard for years to come. The IBM Laser Printer. Suddenly, nothing else measures up. This is how easy it is to collate a mailing on the new IBM Laser Printer. And how easy is it to collate with the leading laser printer? Probably now isn't the best time to ask. The IBM Laser Printer. Suddenly, nothing else measures up. been a tough week for Bobby Hurley. He came to practice yesterday after attending the funeral of his ex-junior high school coach who died of a heart attack last week at the age of 32. His name was Richard Barrett. He was very close to him. And he dedicated last Sunday's game to Barrett. So he's had a lot on his mind. Hurley goes in strong and a blocking foul called against UCLA, maybe against Kevin Walker. Wow. UCLA right now is off the bench. They want to charge right now, Dick. They do not uh, feel that they were out of position on that call. So Hurley is on the line. And, uh, here's a freshman who's got to run a team in the tournament and now has that burden. Well, Richie Barrett is, uh, you know, a, a very successful grammar school coach. Coached uh, Bobby and also his younger brother and uh, they moved on to St. Anthony's High School where Bob Hurley Sr. is the coach. And uh, the younger brother was the star uh, along with a fellow by the name of Rhodes of this year's team that won a state championship. Richie Barrett, uh, uh, very close to Bobby, was uh, always taking him around and getting him to places where he could play a lot of basketball in the summertime at AAU games. Biggest lead of the game for Duke, off the board. Kept in there by UCLA. Trevor Wilson has replaced Don McLean in the lineup. Wilson with six is the Bruins' high scorer. 
Of the lobby, top scoop with seven. 11 minutes to go in the first half. Here's Murray at the baseline, and Abdel Nabi gets the rebound and is fouled. That'll be the 15 foul against UCLA and the second against Mitchell Butler. Well, the Duke, the Duke very happy right now. They feel that they're aggressive man to man. You know, Coach K made the statement that he feels that year in and year out, UNLV and themselves play the type of defense that can get you, you know, down there to the final four. Uh, they feel that today they're going to put uh, as good, if not better, pressure on UCLA than they've had all year. Only time will tell. Early leaves the game. Phil Henderson replaces him. The captain shot knocked out of bounds. And they are going to call a foul on the Bruins. It'll be team foul number six. UCLA was hot early. UCLA they have cooled off lately. Foul is on Wilson, his second personal. Team foul number six. Anderson working against Butler. Anderson with a three, a second one. All of his points have come on three point shots. Right to Jeffy says he's our guy. He's the one that can get us going. He not only hits the threes, he's excellent off the dribble. And at the end of the game, he'll be the guy with the basketball. I guess calling his teammates a bunch of babies really woke him up last week. Trevor Wilson banging the boards out of bounds. It's still UCLA's ball. And right now, Duke is on an 8 to nothing run, leading by nine. The UCLA, they're getting excellent shots at the basket. The ball is just rimming on them right now. Trying to keep the ball from going out of bounds and doing a good job of it is Derek Martin. Paul McCaffrey with a kick ball. Brian Davis checks back in. There's Henderson. Last week, normally not a vocal leader on the team, lashed out a little bit of his teammates who were kind of receptive to his criticisms and they responded with two big wins. Well, you know, the coach said, listen, that wasn't so bad. You know, we have a, a mature team and they can handle that. You know, he's a, he's a senior here and uh, uh, he, he steps forward and wants to be counted. McLean with a great pass from Wilson with the basket and the foul. UCLA coming back. As this game progresses, UCLA's front court people, McLean, uh, Wilson, and Murray, will continually change directions on you, and you cannot lose your man. Duke has a tendency up front to turn their head as the game moves on and give up a lot of easy scores. Greg Kubek committing the foul. Nearly tipped in for a basket. McLean misses the free throw. Seven-point lead for Duke. That's the story of this half, though. There's nothing will fall right now. And they go back to UCLA's possession, and coming back in is Gerald Matkins. Atkins back in. Butler leaves for the Bruins. UCLA started off at 16 and 4 this year before that five-game losing streak when Wilson hurt his wrist. Then they've been hot. And they'll call the foul on Kubek. McLean. Kubek doesn't like the call. Uh, he's a quick shooter, Dick. Anytime that he catches the ball at the high post, you must be concerned. Because as soon as he pivots, if you're stepping back from him, he's taking that jump shot right in your face. Robert Bricky and Bobby Hurley come in for Kubek and McCaffrey. So Mike Krzyzewski has most of, their, of his starters back in there now. One plus one. McLean averaging 20 a game has scored 10 points in each of the first two tournament games, but he has made his mark defensively inside for UCLA. The thing that uh, Coach Eric really enjoyed about him is that he didn't try to force any shots in the two games down in Atlanta. He played within the system and let other people get their shot opportunities. Henderson coming around the screen. Leitner with the offensive rebound. Christian Leitner now has eight points. That's more than he scored in the last game. Uh, he's St. John. Very active today, Dick. But like we say, uh, anytime he and Abdel Nabi are in there, they have such a height advantage. Matkins decided not to shoot at the last moment, try to pass it to McLean. Now the Bruins get it right back, and they're going to call Hurley. Last touch by Duke. 
Now keep an eye on Christian Leitner at the foul line. He'll be coming right down the middle on this shot. See a little bump, and there he is. He's right up in nice, strong move. Did not take the ball down. Here we have Duke in there, three-quarter court trap again. Just giving you another look. Atkins is pretty strong. Beats McLean and a beautiful beat the trap right down the middle. That's the way to take it. Get it into the middle, make your move, and then drop it off for the layup. You know, this UCLA team, you know, out on the floor, they have one freshman and three sophomores playing. It's a young basketball team. Robert Bricky, nowhere to go. Trevor Wilson has done a great job on Bricky, who has been shut out so far. Early in the lane. And they'll call the foul against Derek Martin. It'll be Martin's first foul. Dallas, they're underway. The Longhorns and Tommy Penders, Pete Gillen, Xavier Musketeer in the first half. Thomas Hill, the freshman from Lancaster, Texas, replaces Davis. And Ala Abdel Nabi also checks in as Christian Leitner gets another breather. Leitner leads the Blue Devils with eight. Lean with, with, with nine, tops UCLA. Now, Bobby Harrell is not only the number one assist player on this ball club, but also leads the team in minutes played for, for a point guard and a freshman. You know, really quite a feat. And he set the school record for assists, and they've had some outstanding playmakers. Tommy Amaker had held the record. Early, of course, had to face comparisons against Kenny Anderson of Georgia Tech all year. Missed the second free throw. Duke still has it. Bill Henderson uh, lost his man and hits the shot. Atkins went by, and Bill Henderson now with eight points. See, he's a scorer. Yeah, he's always looking for that shot. Traveling called against UCLA. So Duke leading by eight points. 744 remaining in the first half. To us at UPS, this is a custom car. Why this beauty's been modified dozens of times. It has a fiberglass fuel efficient front, a rapid opening foam filled door, and a sunroof. All of which makes us more efficient, so we can deliver next day air for up to half what other companies charge, and allow our drivers to be seen in one mean set of wheels. UPS, we run the tightest ship in the shipping business. It's Wednesday morning in Ford County. Hey, Dad, is it really true that full-size Chevy pickups have more two-sided galvanized steel than Ford? That's right, son. The electrolytic deposition of zinc on steel protects it from chemical oxidation. But, I mean, if it helps stop rust, how come a big company like Ford doesn't use as much as Chevy? I don't know, son. I just don't know. Rust protection. No wonder people from Ford prefer Chevy trucks. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. If you've got yourself a car, and you've got yourself a house, you could be on your way to some very nice savings. Because with Allstate Homeowners Insurance and an excellent driving record, you could save up to 15% on your auto insurance. And 15% could mean big money for all the important little things. What a day. The Allstate Auto Advantage, another reason. Good hands with Allstate. A member of the Sears Financial Network. Minnesota, Syracuse, Loyola Marymount, Bama, Georgia Tech, Michigan State, Ball State, UNLV, Sweet 16 time, Friday. Well, UCLA going beyond anything they've achieved in the last 10 years. 10 national titles, 14 Final Four appearances, 64 wins, 38 consecutive tournament games. Those are all NCAA tournament records held by UCLA. And Jim Harrick trying to get them back to something of what they used to be. I don't think anyone will ever match the John Woodman team. Wilson almost lost control. Off the board, Hurley. A little helper skelter basketball. Inside the Bricky. And the first points of the game by Robert Bricky. Bricky's the guy. He's the guy that gets out there on the fast break. And then, you know, he's just looking for loose balls. He's everywhere. There's a loose ball. 
And now Hurley brings it up. Ten-point lead for Duke, their biggest. Only seven minutes remaining in the first half. Henderson, he's hit a couple of threes already. Rebound McLean. The early going right now, the Duke defense has been at its pinnacle. I think that they are doing an excellent job. The pressure has been sensational. Lane misses the rebound by Abdel Nabi. Last four possessions, they've managed only one shot, have turned it over three times. And they missed that shot. Abdel Nabi trying to take advantage of Murray went in. And traveling oh, call. Well, maybe that's why it was nice. That was a good move. Excellent head fake, shoulder fake, and as he stepped through, you know, Abdel Nabi is looking at the referee, and he's saying that, hey, I can lift my pivot foot as long as I shoot or pass. You know, Coach uh, Josefsky off the bench also. Zan Mason, a 6'7 freshman from Los Angeles, who figures big next year, has come in now. He has not played in any of the tournament games so far. Putting up the shot was Gerald Matkins, and he was hit, and he'll shoot too. What I like about the uh, UCLA attack, every time that Duke is in the 2-2-1 two, two, at three quarters, they are doing a very good job at getting it up, getting into the middle, and attacking, and, and making them pay for being in this, because this press is not their strength. This has been a lucky court for the Duke Blue Devils here at East Rutherford. You know they've reached the final four, three of the last four years, all coming on this court. Trying to make it four out of five years. Matkins hits the front end. So UCLA has Matkins and Martin in there, along with Zan Mason, the freshman. McLean and Wilson, the other two. Krzyzewski with Bricky, Leitner, Hurley, McCaffrey. And Thomas Hill. Missed the second. McLean with the rebound. McLean the rebound again after Wilson kept it alive and pounding the boards. With a big duo of Trevor Wilson and Don McLean, who now has a left. Six minutes to go in the first half. Ricky gets past his man, Zan Mason. There was a mix up defensively that time. They let him get away. Duke by nine. Ricky looking for the steal, makes it, and taken back quickly by Martin. Hill is trying to deny against Trevor Wilson. And the foul against UCLA, it'll be against the freshman Mason. Now you see Ricky will come right down the middle here. See, there was a question about who was guarding him that time, because Trevor Wilson was up front picking up a, a, another guy's man. That, that was a little breakdown in communication. Brian Davis and Ala Abdel Nabi check in for Duke. But Christian Leitner, as well as Abdel Nabi, have done a terrific job off the board so far. Here's Leitner, who has scored eight points and has six rebounds. The thing with Leitner is that uh, he's had a tendency to get down on himself when something doesn't go right and affects him in ensuing plays up and down the court, and it's hurt his offense. Well, they're talking to, to the coaching staff. They said he, he gets easily distracted, and when he gets distracted, he'll shoot, and if he misses, he doesn't follow his shots. So they had to take him aside and get him focused. Uh, he's, he, he's a terrific uh, young man. He's got a great IQ for the game, but he takes everything you know, to heart anytime that he makes a negative move. Leitner with 10, the lead is 11, 35 to 24. Under five and a half to play in the opening half. Duke trying to advance. The Duke is tough on the dribbler. When you pick up the basketball, they're right in your face. So what they're doing now is that allows the people up front to front the guys and make the passing difficult. Keith Owens, 6'8 junior, has come in for UCLA, and Trevor Wilson draws the foul. Both teams are in the bonus and have been for quite a while. Well, that was an example of Trevor Wilson's quickness. Once he catches the basketball, he's so quick, he explodes to the basket. Al Abdel Nabi has picked up his third personal foul and goes to the bench, replaced by Robert Bricky. And Phil Henderson replaces McCaffrey. And Mike Krzyzewski continues to shuttle in. 
nine players in this game. Well, they try to wear you down. They're looking to pick up that defensive intensity that they had for like 80% of the season. They fell off in the last six games. They played some close games, but lost them all. Uh, since the tournament has uh, come about, they feel that there's been a resurgence. Wilson with the free throws. So McLean and Wilson have a total of 19 in between them of UCLA's 26 points. Early feeds Davis on the baseline. Ryan Davis. Lucas hit his last five shots. Well, there's confusion right now with UCLA about what kind of a defense they're in. McLean stops at the baseline. Leitner coming out like a man possessed in the first half tonight. Bobby Hurley, yes, traveling call. You'll see this move now. Strong move by McLean. Now watch, watch Leitner come right in here. Tough rebound. See, Bobby Hurley to me is having an outstanding half. He's, he's definitely dictating the tempo of the game. On the give and go, blocking foul. And it will be called against Davis. What is it, Henderson? <laughs> what did Mike say yesterday? Here he is. He's looking like the choir boy. He said, we're going to test the referees at UCLA on the charge block off. <laughs> Put it to good use. You'll see the movement. He was moving that time. Ryan Davis with his third personal foul. So Duke has two players with three fouls. Abdul Nabi and Davis. But any time that you're a defensive coach, you're always trying. No matter what, you want every call. Schooled under Bobby Knight at West Point originally. That's when the, when the first two got together. Mike was an outstanding scorer for West Point and later came back after he served five years in the service and became their head coach. That gives with the free throw. 4.23 to go in the first half. 37 to 28. Dick Stockton and UB Brown here at the Meadowlands. The winner of this game will face Connecticut Saturday in the Eastern Regional Final. See if Martin was pushing early and they'll call him or is it away from the ball you see it's like on Owens to That's his first. so UCLA, UCLA normally does not get in those ticky tack fouls on post people because they front the individual that's posting up and when you do that you get away with more contact than if you play behind the guy Keith Owens started three games this year for UCLA. Leitner hits the free throw. Jim Harrick, coach for many years at Pepperdine, was once an assistant coach of Gary Cunningham, one of the coaches who succeeded John Wood. Going out of the game now is Owens, and Tracy Murray replaces him. now with 12. There's Bobby Hurley getting a breather. Now Duke giving you another look. Full court, man-to-man -man pressure. Trying to lengthen the passing lanes, get you to pick up the dribble. Wilson gives it up to Matkins. And Matkins hits the three. He is the best three-point shooter on the team. His only points came on a three against Kansas Sunday. And what a big three because it happened with one minute left in the game. Now, he can make that shot. Coach Harrick would like to see him shoot more often. Leitner on a fine feed from Ryan Davis. From Ryan Davis. See, Duke doing a terrific job in completing the lob pass anytime UCLA throws the postman. Capri up to defend against Martin. McLean moves in against Davis. Shot doesn't drop. A rebound by Bricky. And a foul against UCLA. They're really out of sync right now, the Bruins, as they trail by 10 with 3.21 left. We're at the Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nick Stockton and Hubie Brown. Duke leads this one by 10. UCLA struggling from the field. Duke dominating the boards. 
And the leading scorers are McLean and Leitner. Earlier tonight, Connecticut defeated Clemson in an incredible finish on a basket with one second remaining. Connecticut had to go to the length of the floor with one second, and Tate George hit the jumper to beat the Tigers. Tracy Murray with only his second basket. Three minutes to go, and it's a 41-33 lead for Duke. McCaffrey filling the lane nicely. Leitner fed him a good pass. Oh, they have numbers. Three on two right now. Murray trying to get his own rebound. McLean winds up with the ball, and McLean scores. He's got 13. That's such a quick release off the bounce. And, and we, we, we can't say this enough. And that is that any time UCLA gets the basketball, they're so quick in changing it that you must pay total attention to that. Anderson off the screen. McLean the rebound. And here's a three-on-two break, four-on-two. And going in with a shot is Martin. And now it's a 41-37 game. See, they've, been, they've been getting excellent shots at the basket. The ball just has not been falling for them, but they have never stopped guarding and hustling. Gillette announces a razor that can sense the individual needs of your face. Gillette, the best a man can get. Introducing the extraordinary Gillette Sensor Shaving System. Sensor blades are mounted on responsive springs to continuously sense and adjust to your face for the best shave a man can get. Closer, smoother, safer. New Gillette Sensor. Gillette, the best. It's Thursday evening in Ford County. That Vortec V6 in the Chevy S10 Blazer is just the nicest engine. Oh my, yes. It has such quiet hydraulic valve lifters. And 4.3 liters, the biggest engine in its class, you know? I love the horses. That Chevy really holds. Vortec V6 power. No wonder people from Ford prefer Chevy trucks. Nobody's a winning like the heartbeat of America. Today's truck is Chevrolet. Life's full of simple pleasures, like the comfort of Levi's jeans, or had you forgotten? Earlier tonight, with Clemson leading by one and one second left, Scott Burrell's desperation pass hit Tate George, who hit the basket, and Connecticut won. Remember, the game is over when the horn sounds and not when the clock hits double zero. Right, there, you know, there was no question at the scorer's table or by the deep referee. Yeah, that was a good shot. So Connecticut moves to the regional final. Meanwhile, to play the winner here, UCLA on a 9-2 run has cut Duke's lead to four. And they'll call UCLA with the foul. Matkins with 2.02 to go. That's his first. The other final in the Midwest Regional it was Arkansas. Moving to the final eight for the first time since 1979, beating North Carolina handily. See, both of these teams are so quick at doubling back on anyone who is dribbling the basketball. And they're constantly going for your hands. Now, in the first half, all of the ticky-tack stuff has been called. It'll be interesting to see if it continues in the second half. Anderson looking for his 10th point of the game. And he's got it. Xavier in Texas locked in the first half duel in Dallas. Martin throws up an air ball, and Leitner comes down with it, and here's a three-on-two opportunity, and Hurley hits Henderson perfectly with the fast break. I like Hurley's decision tonight. He's really pushing the ball hard. And he doesn't have outstanding quickness, uh, but he's smart. He's smart with the ball. 
Murray tries to get it inside to Matkins. They call Duke foul. Here you'll see the pitch out. They're constantly looking for Murray. I mean, uh, for Hurley. And there you see, good finisher, excellent choice, Henderson. Not only can he finish for you, he's also an 82% foul shooter in case he gets fouled. Still committing the foul, and here is Gerald Matkins shooting one and one. He missed all of last year with a very tough injury. He had an excruciating six-month recovery from a serious moped accident. He hit a moving car head-on back in July of 88, suffered a fractured pelvis, torn muscles, two operations, a metal plate, and two pins. It's amazing that he ever came back to play, much less walking. And, and then for him to be their defensive stopper along with that. Made only one, and last touch by the Bruins, it'll be Duke Ball with 123 remaining in the first half. Duke's biggest lead was 11. See, Duke continues to, to pick Derek Martin off in the backcourt and also at the top of the circle, relieving the pressure on Hurley as he's dribbling the basketball. There's Leitner from Hurley. They've done that a few times tonight, and Christian Leitner with 16 points is the game high score. See, you can't do that if you have another offensive player on the low box on the other side of the lane. But they don't. They bring him up high, and that makes that easy catch equal a layup. Matthews. Leitner clears it. Now, Duke can play for the last shot and can establish that's their biggest lead if they score. They're spreading out the floor now, and they have Christian Leitner up high at the foul line area. Big thing here is you do not want a player away from the ball to backdoor you if you're the defensive guy for a layup. Early out by Leitner and they'll call the foul on Chris. That'll be his second. Now you'll see that Duke is in a passing game right here. Now there's your lob. You see him call and hold off McLean. That was beautiful. See, because it's two guys working together. The passer and the receiver, but the receiver must hold the defensive man off. Already a terrific game for Christian Leitner, who will go to the bench with a second personal foul, 16 points and nine rebounds. Kubek replaces him. Were we worrying about Christian yesterday by saying, hey, you know, he played an entire game on Sunday without a field goal, probably the first time since he was in grammar school. <laughs> he came back, Hurley's come back with a little adversity on the personal side this week. Ooh, plenty of time. Just the one-on-one. -on -one. Henderson didn't have control. Gets it back. It won't count if it goes, and that is the end of the first half with the score. Duke 47, UCLA 38. CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship Regional Semifinal Game from East Rutherford, New Jersey is sponsored by IBM. Whatever your size, whatever your needs, IBM is working to bring you the best solutions. Levi's 505 and 506 jeans. And by Pontiac and your local Pontiac dealer, we build excitement. How strong and secure is the advanced space frame chassis of the new Pontiac Transport? Let's just say it carries its own weight. And then some. Transport, the Pontiac of minivans. Another strength of the innovative new Pontiac Transport is that its rust-proof lower body panels resist dents, dings, and even Eddie Jankowski. Transport, the Pontiac of minivans. We build excitement. Now, when you buy two BF Goodrich TA tires, get a Final Four commemorative NCAA basketball free. Buy four, get an NCAA bag, hat, and basketball free. And after you're geared up... This is real life, real answers. And by U.S. Sprint and its new world of telecommunications. At halftime here at the Meadowlands, Duke leading UCLA 47 to 38. There's the Duke band. Duke 
had an 11 point lead was their biggest will come out in the second half the Blue Devils with Henderson and Hurley in the backcourt Hurley had seven assists in the first half Ricky Leitner and Davis up front for the Blue Devils as Ala Abdel Nabi with three personal fouls starts the second half on the bench Derek Martin and uh, Gerald Matkins at guard up front is McLean Wilson and Murray at the top of the show the key matchup that I thought in this ball game would be Hurley and Martin now up until now Martin only has one field goal out of five opportunities and Hurley is doing a good job in distributing the ball to the Duke front court people they have done some big-time damage inside particularly Christian Layton here's McLean those are the kind of shots that UCLA missed in the first half, and that's why they're shooting 40%. You know, you could say, well, they're missing. They're missing because the defensive player is challenging every shot, and it's right there in your face. Telling me it's not solitary up there? <laughs> Nearly a steal. And it's going to be Bruins' ball. Good hustle by Derek Martin. Excellent uh, quickness of hands by Derek Martin that time, knocking it loose. I, I, I anticipate him getting a little bit more aggressive defensively and making things happen. Tracy Murray goes up and draws the foul. Leitner, it'll be three on Leitner. So now Duke has their top two inside players with three personal fouls. Well, you see, right now I'm coaching UCLA. I know that Leitner has three and he's playing Murray. I would go to the high post offense that they've been using and let Murray catch turn and take Leitner off the dribble and see what he does. Now here's Murray who had the winning free throws from Glendora, California. He scored 64 points in a high school tournament last year and averaged 44, so he knows what big time scoring is all about. Freshman missed them both. That they still not take a lap. Well, well, right right there, that's right. right. Happy right. Jim Harris was glad he missed these two, but made the two last week. He said, "You don't score over 3,000 points in high school if you can't stick it in all." Lead is seven for the Blue Devils. UCLA in the zone. Matkins knocks it away, and they'll call him for a push. Second foul on Gerald Matkins. In that regional final, I mean, in the, in the uh, down in Atlanta, where we had UCLA versus Kansas, when they went to that 2-3 zone and played it aggressively, I thought they were extremely tough on the passing lane, just like they showed right there. Early with the fake, lost the ball in the lane. McLean tossed it out. There was no Bruin. And Robert Bricky stuffs it in. He'll replace Davis for Duke, and again, it's a nine-point lead. Early doing the job on Martin, as you pointed out. Far cry from a week ago. See, the pressure out high is excellent by Duke. Trevor Wilson, hit. We're going to show you Henderson here now. Now, there's your lob pass on a change of direction. Now, what happened there was UCLA's players thought that they had a fast break going the other way. When they turned to start running down the floor, boom, Duke comes right back. Good recognition. Henderson with the lob. Ricky with a second personal foul. Here's Trevor Wilson. UCLA has struggled from the free throw line. They're shooting just about at 60%. Makes one out of two, Leitner, and another foul called against. Let's see who they call that one on. It was on Matkins, and that's three. So UCLA with a player with three fouls, and Gerald Matkins. He's the man they need against Henderson defensively. Shot is missed by Hill. Henderson getting back quickly on the fence. And Matkins fights his way in, gets the basket, and draws the foul. Wasn't pretty, but he'll take it. Now, it wasn't pretty, but you're saying, finally, they got one to drop. <laughs> yeah, that would even look like it was going off. Now, this is UCLA. They, on a missy, they get that basketball out quick. And when they get it out, they have such good runners 
in the lanes. This was a nice move by Matkins, a nice head fake. Got the defensive player up in the air. Anderson with his second foul. Matkins, and a three-point play, brings the Bruins to within five. You can't count them out because they can change in so quickly and hurt you. And then they're, they're kind of tough. If they can just cut off this Duke low post game to late, then they're going to be okay. And they've had their shot opportunities offensively throughout this game. Hurley misses a three. Murray gets the rebound. Good position. Here's the break. Trevor Wilson pulls up. Those are the kind of shots UCLA made against Kansas last week. Nice pass. McLean. Now comes Duke. UCLA back defensively. Early season. Yeah, the two best shooters get their two best shots, and we and they catch the rim both times. Leitner, great feed to Brick. Everything but the shot and a foul. It'll be against Duke. See, when you're playing Duke defensively, and they elevate on a jump shot around that foul line, the most dangerous guy is the guy cutting right now. You see. Don't anticipate that the player is going to take a jump shot. You better cover those cutters from the corner. Robert Bricky has picked up his third foul, stays in the game. Ala Abdel Nabi is in there. So Abdel Nabi, Leitner, and Bricky. The starting front court for Duke now with three fouls. Now Duke's playing zone. Matkins goes up and gets the shot. It popped up and it popped down. And it's now a 49-46 game. You think he can do that again? <laughs> What a shot! Another hundred years. Leitner. Short on that. Now Duke is having the same problems UCLA did in the first half, missing the short ones inside. Look out! And Wilson brings UCLA to it in one, and it's a 10 to 2 run for UCLA in the half. Timeout called by Duke. You can't drive at night anymore. Did you know that? Mom told me that. I mean, that's really nothing. I know. I know. I mean, five years, seven years from now, what happens then? He won't ask us. Even if he needs our help, he won't ask us. So we've got to do something. We're the ones, you know. The Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra is one of America's most popular cars, and it's about to get a lot more popular. We've rolled back the price on the Cutlass Sierra S sedan by $500. Plus, factory dealer incentives of $750 to $1250 may be passed on to you. And qualified first-time buyers can get $600 cash back. That can mean up to $2,350 on a new Sierra S. See your Olds dealer now for details and deals. On the new generation, Oldsmobile. So your little brother's joining us, huh? He's not so little anymore. All right, now let's move it! He's, what, 19? White setting, 540, F-14. Jeff's landing planes. Four gear lens set. No. $40 million jets. Today's Navy. High-tech training that takes you only one way. Full speed ahead. Primary's off. Good job, guys. You and the Navy. Jeff? Think? Uh, he's not so little anymore. Full speed ahead. You never know where history will unfold, but you always know where to turn. The CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. You always know when it's CBS News. Watch Gerald Mackins attack the heart of the Duke defense off the dribble. Now, once he elevates, he brings it down and just spins it back up there, grabs the rim with a little reverse English. Shot. Nice. Everybody said, could you please demonstrate that shot again? Hurley hits a three. That's what he's been doing for Duke. They call a timeout. They're under siege. Hurley hits a three, and they're up by 40. Well, Coach K wants him to be more offensive-minded. You cannot walk away from him. He, he can really score from outside. For those who've been watching, Texas and Xavier in the Midwest Regional in Dallas, welcome to the Meadowlands. Dick Stockton and UB Brown. Duke is leading UCLA here early in the second half, 52 to 48. 
Duke led by 11, had the lead cut to one. Now they've opened it up a little bit again. Henderson throws it up wildly. Trevor Wilson with the rebound. It's a four on two break for the Bruins. Great block by Abdel Nabi against Murray, and it's still UCLA ball. What kind of game has it been so far, Hubert? But we're seeing Duke doing what they do best, and that is the passing game, and then getting the ball into their low post people. But UCLA has had a very difficult time shooting. They're shooting inside of, uh, right around the 40 mark. The ball is going in and out on them. The opportunities are there. But now they've made a run because they're holding Duke to one shot and doing an excellent job in the open floor. There's the game summary. UCLA shooting a little better. They're on a 10 to 5 run this half. They're the leading scorers, but Christian Leitner, who has 16 points, has just picked up his fourth personal foul and goes to the bench. That'll be a tough break for the Duke Blue Devils. Mitchell Butler comes back in along with Kevin Walker, so they go with more height on the UCLA side. Right, it's a good move. Now Christian Leitner comes in at halftime with 16 points and nine rebounds. He somewhat dominated everything in that entire half. Leitner coming off a couple of tough games, did not hit a basket against St. John's, but now sitting with four. Wilson missed both free throws, but Murray kept it alive for this. Rebound by Walker. Miss. Butler fights his way in. And would you know it, it was the smallest guy who fought in, and Abdelabi may have picked up his fourth foul. Let's wait. And it is four personal fouls on Ala Abdelnabi. And coming off the bench is Crawford Palmer as Abdel Nabi and Leighton lead the game. Crawford Palmer is a 6'9 sophomore from Arlington, Virginia. Now, right now, we're, we're looking at UCLA on the line, Mitchell Butler. Now, this has been a big factor in this game. They are 14 for 25, so they have missed 11 foul shots as well as all of those shots which have been rimming. Now, when you're coaching in a game like this, you're confident because you're feeling your team is going to go for the big surge. What can we expect from Palmer now, the sophomore who has to play big? Well, Palmer has an awful lot of talent. He came out of high school, you know, with a lot of publicity, Northern Virginia. Uh, he does get in foul trouble. Steal, Wilson, getting back is Hurley. Wilson pulls up. It's blocked, and a great block by Bricky. UCLA claims goaltending, but I don't think so. Well, let me tell you, that was right in our line. That was really some extension by Bricky. He's the best that Duke has in running down defensive plays. Hurley going in, draws the foul. Now you'll see Trevor coming down, and this is his shot, where he likes to elevate and take that little jumper. Now there the ball is going up, you see? Now right where we're sitting, I did not think that that was goaltending. I honestly, because we were in a direct line with that shot. I thought it was still on the way up. Henderson for three, hits another one, and that's three. Three-point baskets by Henderson. He has 15 points, and Duke leads by five. Mitchell Butler picked up that last foul. It was his third person. Now, I'm looking for Henderson to go for it now without their two power guys. Wilson gets free of his man. Open is Derek Martin. And two Duke players, Kubek and Palmer, tore down the rebound. Here's the foul story. Duke with Abdel Nabi and Leitner, which was four. Murray picks up his second personal foul. Next foul against Duke will put UCLA in the bonus. The main thing is, is if you're UCLA. Now, you've got to understand, who are the guys on Duke that can hurt you right now? Ricky and Henderson would be the two offensively. Yeah, but Ricky's got to get his in the open floor. Oh, hey! Murray the rebound, outlet pass. Gerald Matkin, nice. great bounce pass to Butler on a UCLA fast break. You gotta give them their due, boy. They get out there, and the thing you like about it is they, they, they'll get the ball up to the guy who is out in front. 
Jim Eric said he likes this Eastern region because they don't have a real power guy inside like Felton Spencer of Louisville. And now whatever Duke has, they have foul trouble. See, in the first half, the Duke bench only had one field goal. So if I'm playing in the zone for UCLA, I know that Henderson is a big threat in this game. But these other people, Henderson and Hurley, I've got to concentrate on them. These guys who just came off the bench, they've got to prove it to me that they can score. Bill Henderson has picked up his third foul, and Bill McCaffrey comes into the game, and Christian Leitner with four fouls now. Coach K has decided to go with Leitner at this stage, leading by three. This is a major gamble, because there's 13 minutes left. Every coach has his own philosophy because he has faith in the player, and also he has, he has, he has faith in your style of play. But because of the amount of contact and how quickly they're calling the fouls today, this is a dangerous move. Was it Bo Kimball at 29 points after he had four fouls for Loyola Marymount? That was dangerous also, <laughs> but he, oh, he just is. proved that theory. <laughs> well, let's see if it, it happens with Leighton, okay? All right. Hey, I'm UCLA. I love this. There's 13 minutes to go. I'm shooting the penalty. Early, guarded by Butler on the zone. Double team. Hurley flyers a three off the mark. Henderson crashes the board. And a foul against the Bruins. It'll be against Matkins, and that's his fourth personal foul. So one more in Gerald Matkins, who has scored 14 points to leave UCLA is out, and he'll come out of the game now. Derek Martin replaces him. So the point guard Martin, who was an off guard last year when Pooh Richardson was the floor general for the Bruins. Hurley tries to get it to Leighton and another UCLA foul. That's team foul number six. One more in his bonus. See, yeah, that's a tough play. Uh, the pass was made, and, and once again, the quick hands of UCLA. Now watch this shovel pass, and there it is right there. As Leighton goes to put it down, UCLA outstanding at doubling back and getting their hands on the ball. Mitchell Butler with his fourth foul. Atkins and Butler with four now for UCLA. Duke is not going to the free throw line in the second half. And there's a three-point basket by Henderson. He's got four, and his outside shooting has kept Duke in it in the second half. Recognition of who can hurt you from outside. That is a major key for UCLA. Henderson is not going to think twice. He looks for the shot as soon as it hits his hand, and he's burning them all day with the three-point attempt. Lead is four, Bill Bruins ball, and an official's timeout with 11.54 to go in the second half. Yes, the new Mazda Protégé is the roomiest in its class. It's even roomier than the mid-sized Toyota Camry. Yes, it has more power and a better basic warranty than Camry. And yes, it's priced $1,839 less. Now, get Aero Automatic at no extra charge. But it's up to $785 in extra value. Any reason to shout? Yes! At your local Mazda dealers, now. You've just discovered your car has a clear coat finish, which your ordinary wax just ruined. Simonized non-abrasive wax won't scratch today's clear coat finishes, and that'll save you a lot of grief. Get into a new thing, hot wings, Kentucky Fried Chicken. You finally found the speed you can handle. <laughs> new hot wings from Kentucky Fried Chicken. The world's most accurate weather radar data is gathered by the WSI Corporation using the reliable 800 service of U.S. Sprint, the network that came through Hugo when AT&T did not. Let's get that image up. The networks are waiting for the feed. And if Sprint's nationwide fiber optic network can handle the moods of Mother Nature, the front of this hurricane should miss us. It can handle any business climate. Reliable all fiber optic 800 service only from U.S. Sprint.
Well, we began the night talking about the UCLA-Duke National Championship game in 64. It was UCLA's first title game. Now, Kenny Washington didn't start, but he came off the bench to score 26. A lot of familiar names, Wal Hazard and Jeff Mullins and all of those. And traveling call against the Bruins turns it over. So Duke with the ball. They have a three-guard offense with McCaffrey, Henderson, and Hurley, along with Ricky and Layton. Small team out there for Duke. Henderson comes right back. Henderson now with 20 points as the game high score. 60 to 54. McLean pull up and hit. 15 now for Don McLean. That's the guy that has to get going. We must see him receive more catches than he has up until this time because he is a premier scorer. Henderson. Same thing. Henderson has hit four threes. And you know he'll be shooting all the way. McLean, Wilson, Trevor Wilson, the two of them have been a tough tandem all year. Trevor Wilson, so quick, whether he's playing on a post situation like that, a quick move, or whether he's flying on the, on the fast break, but I like the way he rebounds. Lead is cut to two, McCaffrey misses. Loose ball, and the possession arrow favors Duke. This is such a great game to watch. Both teams very tough defensively, uh, very hungry to get each, every loose ball that's out there. Well, there are only two ACC teams left as Clemson and North Carolina went down tonight. Hurley, to claim the rebound and a chance for UCLA to tie the game. is in his zone now. Wilson wants the ball. Wilson from McLean and a foul against Duke. If it's against Henderson, and it is, it'll be his fourth personal foul. So Duke has some terrific foul problems on their team. Their leading scorer now has four. Trevor Wilson on the line to shoot two and can tie this game. Wilson tonight has hit five of nine from the line. And you mentioned that story has really hurt UCLA if they could only make half of those missed free throws, where would they be? Yeah, it's because they're getting on the line, and that's a very difficult thing to do against the Duke. 16, and, and they're up already around the 30 mark, and we still have 10 minutes to go in this ballgame. And Duke hasn't been to the free throw line in the second half. Henderson. Tries to get it to Leitner, couldn't, scores himself. Okay, he is so quick. A, a quick thinker also. Uh, he's got good, he has good hands. The range is there, he's quick off the dribble. The Marpe hurt, hurt you in the lane area on this shot. Lane misses, rebound to Hurley. 9.35 remaining in the second half, 62 to 59 Duke. And traveling ball against McCaffrey, the freshman. UCLA tightening their defense a little more in the last several minutes. In fact, Duke was shooting in the 30s in the second half. They're the UConn, UConn Huskies. They'll play the winner of this game Saturday. They've changed the foul to Kubek, so Henderson is still with three. Kubek picked up his third foul. Martin in the lane. Rebound Butler. Tipped up and in by... I think Tracy Murray. No, McLean gets credit for it. McLean. See, with this small unit in there, Henderson and Ricky must rebound for Duke on the defensive glass. Early with a great break on Martin. Leaves Henderson wide open for his fifth three-point pass. I'll tell you what. Let Henderson stand over there and save his energy for all these threes that he's making. 25 points for Henderson. Senior from Illinois having a big game. 
the UCLA running all that baseline screening, but all Duke is doing is switching, and they're not worrying about the mismatches. Ricky staying with Wilson. Oh, what? Spins around McLean. Good hands by UCLA, and McLean and Wilson are always around the ball. What a move by Trevor Wilson. The shot just, just moved drop for him right now, but McLean is doing some job at both ends of the floor on the board. McLean and Wilson combined 33 points. McCaffrey misses. Leitner tips it out. And now UCLA looking for the tie. They haven't been able to tie this game. Murray with a three, and the Bruins lead it. Not bad when your center steps out and shoots the three. Well, sooner or later, UCLA shots had a drop, they figured, and now they are. Last lead for UCLA was 11-9, early in the half, first half. Duke needs quicker ball movement right now to make that UCLA zone shift. Leitner from McCaffrey, great pass by McCaffrey. Leitner playing with four fouls. Abdel Nabi is on the bench with four. And Duke is up by one. Nearly seven minutes to go in the second half. Martin goes baseline. And they call Hurley for the foul. Well, Hurley honestly thought he had a five-second count that time, but Derek Martin lulled him to sleep and beat him on the baseline. Look at the turnaround off the offensive glass. It was almost the other way around in the first half. They're doing a great job, but then we've also had Leitner and Abdel Nabi in foul trouble. So uh, people sometimes, when, when they get that, they're afraid to have anybody contact, and they don't want to go crashing in. So this is a major advantage for UCLA, just like the fact that they've been shooting the penalty now since the 12 minute mark. Martin makes the front end. Abdel Nabi playing with four fouls, checks in. Leitner goes out. Duke yet to go to the free throw line in the second half, but UCLA not taking advantage of their opportunity. You see, you can't get on the foul line if you don't have a low power game or you do not get on the offensive boards and take it up strong. Light. Hey! It won't fill you up, never let you down. Uh -huh. hey! Mr. Ian McKenzie. I'm Angus McKenzie. The Yanks moved down the road. Today, with service to 175 countries. Oh, you'd be wanting you now, Mr. McKenzie. UPS delivers to nearly 4 billion people. Parcel for McKenzie. Hey. Including the extraordinary concentration of McKenzie's along the northeast coast of Scotland. Mr. Ian Alistair McKenzie. No trouble finding him, did you, lad? No trouble at all. UPS. We run the tightest ship in the shipping business. <clears throat> Those tough Mazda trucks, the most trouble-free in America, backed by the best basic truck warranty, bar none. <clears throat> get yours now, and you'll also get up to $1,000 cash back from Mazda. The Mazda Spring Sales Event. It's not subtle, but it's catchy. At your local Mazda dealers, now. Guess who's coming to CBS? Who's that? Don't point, it's rude. Whoopi Goldberg and Gene Stapleton star in a magical new comedy, Baghdad Cafe, premieres Friday, March 30th. Hi, Tomorrow night, the Southeast Regional in New Orleans. First up will be Minnesota against Syracuse, followed by Michigan State and Georgia Tech, and out in Oakland. Loyola Marymount, the number one story in this tournament against Alabama, UNLV and Ball State. Ball State and Cinderella team. Oh! Thomas Hill. Now UCLA with a one-point lead and 
The ball, Wilson fights in. Abdel Nabi with a block. Playing with four fouls, made a big block on him. Yes, he did. He allowed Wilson to release the ball before he went, but very, very smart. He, he avoided the body contact. Henderson, the UCLA, honoring him a lot more, it seems now. Henderson shooting over Wilson with a three and hits another one. Six three-point baskets by Phil Henderson and 28 points. He's at five, six out of 11 three-point baskets. When people are burning you with the three-point outside shot, you must get to them quicker and force them to dribble the basketball, even if they go should go by you, because the interior defense of UCLA off the dribble is excellent. But right now, they, they keep giving him the shot. He hasn't put the ball on the floor yet. Young UCLA club, as you pointed out. Ablonavi from Bloomfield, New Jersey, a senior. Wilson, in and out, Henderson the rebound, Duke by two, they trailed by one a moment ago, but Henderson's three put him up, maybe are leading Texas, and the Longhorns coming back in Dallas, Hurley, couldn't put the fake on Butler, Henderson misses Abdel Nabi, goes up, and a foul against McLean, I believe it'll be his second, both teams in the bonus now, See, Martin stripped Abdel Nabi that time, and he thought, see, uh, uh, Coach Eric right now thought that Abdel Nabi was over the back, but from our angle, it's a, it's a good rebound. Now, you see the move. Now, as he turned, okay, McLean bumps him as Martin stripped him. Gerald Matkins comes back in the game. He's playing with four fouls, but he has 14 points. Playing well defensively, Butler out for UCLA. And the first free throw for the Blue Devils in the second half comes with 5.17 to go in the game. Ala Abdel Nabi's parents, originally from Alexandria, Egypt. Very gregarious sort. Spent a lot of time yesterday talking to the media, and Isashevsky said he was a little concerned that maybe his concentration might be in. Duke again up by four. Matkins gets another three. Matkins with 17 points with his second three-point bomb. Not bad for a guy who, you know, just came in. Hey, I mean, that's something. Look right for that shot. Boom. He's their best, maybe their only three-point threat. One-point game. They're all over Henderson now. They won't give him an inch. Now, Early with a good first step to the hoop. Great play. Excellent penetration that time. Early just split the defenders. And see, once he gets down in there today, he's looking for that shot. That's what Coach K wants him to do. He's been passing a lot this year. Wants him to be a scorer. And a five-second violation called, and Hurley did the number on Derek Martin, and now he's starting to play big again. Well, let me just say this. In the two games in Atlanta, Hurley has held his men with nine out of 32 shot attempts. You see, he's very, very tough, tough on the dribbler. Now, he just didn't learn that at, at Duke. You know, his dad's team, St. Anthony's in Jersey City, they've won eight straight Catholic B championships at before that, I don't know how many Group C championships. Christian Leitner back in the game. He has four personal fouls. Thomas Hill, this is the jumper, Wilson the rebound. Three-point lead for Duke, under four minutes to go. UCLA is at their best when they push the ball and they and they get the numbers on the break. Timeout by the Bruins. Tom died, I just went numb. Then I panicked. I knew we had life insurance, so I wrote the checks. With the kids in college, I figured things would be pretty tight. Was I surprised? I had no idea the policies would have gone up so much in value. They even helped me open this place. There is a difference. Northwestern Mutual Life, ranked first in dividend performance more times than any other company over the last 50 years. 
the quiet company. If you choose to finance or lease your new GM vehicle someplace other than GMAC, you might find yourself waiting in line instead of out hugging one. GMAC. Nobody wants to get you into your new GM car or truck faster. Look out tomorrow. If you're considering a new car, consider that this legendary American car company has outsold every brand of import for the past six years. The reason? Americans have always preferred distinctive, exciting, technically advanced automobiles. And the car company, Pontiac, of course. This is the Meadowlands Arena, East Rutherford, New Jersey, at the witching hour, Eastern Time Zone. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown in the Eastern Regional Semifinal between Duke and UCLA. Earlier tonight, Connecticut on Tate George's field goal at the buzzer edge, Clemson 71-70, after Clemson fought back from a 19-point deficit to take the lead. Connecticut will play the survivor here, and it's up for grabs. Murray for a three, rebound by Christian Leitner. Leitner is in there with Abdel Nabi and Bricky, along with Henderson and Hurley, so the starting five in there for the Blue Devils. They're not playing Bricky. Bricky takes the jumper and misses. They're not, and they weren't at the top of the game either. But a big offensive rebound for Christian. See, the guards are sliding over in the zone to cover Henderson in the opposite corner. That allows this up wing over here wide open. Henderson travels. He's got 28 points to lead all scores. Leitner has 18. McLean with 19, and Matkins with 17 are the leading scorers for UCLA. There's Henderson with a big three-point shooting night. Now the Bruins down by three with three minutes to go in the game. Derek Martin short on the long range. The live with Hurley. A long-range shot by Derek Martin. Probably not what Jim Harrick had in mind. Uh, he's been struggling all night long, and that was really, uh, you know, a difficult shot. But, you know, he comes into UCLA as a 33-point high school scorer. Abdel Nabi with a good move. Good fake and a move. Duke by five. These are critical minutes right now for UCLA if they're going to hang in there. I'd say Abdel Nabi doesn't even think twice. He makes a strong move every time down inside. McLean against Leitner. And it's going to be Duke's ball. All right, UCLA going full court press right now. This is the first time in this ball game. Sure help bring Clemson back against Connecticut in game one tonight here. So they're matched up man to man right now because they know that Duke is going to try to run some clock. We're down inside of two minutes. Leitner goes in and a big basket. And a lead now of 78 to 71. That field goal just took the heart out of the, out of the players. The expression on their faces. Duke on an 11 to 3 run here late. For 1990, some Oldsmobiles are new from the ground up. Others are new from the top down. Some have striking new profiles, while others have bold new side views. Some new Oldsmobiles are at home in front of mansions, and others are at home in front of everything else. This is the new generation. Please. 
Listen up. McDonald's fry surprise is so easy to play, a rutabaga could figure it out. Buy a large or a medium fries or a hash brown, then peel off the sticker. You win every time. <laughs> like a Big Mac for 69 cents, $10,000, or fly anywhere in the world Delta Airlines goes. Who, if that's not terrific, I'm not a member of the Tuber family. <laughs> so play McDonald's fries surprise today. It's the game with appeal. Appeal? Ha! <laughs> I love potato humor. <laughs> If you've got yourself a car, and you've got yourself a house, you could be on your way to some very nice savings. Because with Allstate Homeowners Insurance and an excellent driving record, you could save up to 15% on your auto insurance. And 15% could mean big money for all the important little things. What a day. The Allstate Auto Advantage, another reason. Good hands with Allstate. A member of the Sears Financial Network. Right now, Duke is holding the ball out. Now watch this 6'11 man put the ball down in his offhand, his left, and he beats McLean off the dribble. And you can see on the expression of the faces of the Duke players of elation, and it just kind of like took the heart out of them. Excellent timeout that time by Coach Jim Harris. What an explosive rebound offensively for Christian Leitner. McLean hits from the corner, and here's the full court pressure with 141 left. 21 for McLean. And a quick foul against Derek Martin. And Duke will shoot one and one. Duke has gone to the final four, three of the last four years. And they went there on the heels of winning here at the Meadowlands. And East Rutherford trying to make it four out of five here. Bobby Hurley with 10 points and nine assists. Having a very, very strong game today. But not only are the points and assists there, it's been a steady influence in taking the ball from circle to circle and then turning around defensively and putting the hopper on Martin. We want to welcome the audience that has been watching Xavier against Texas in the West Midwest Regional, Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown. And Duke has opened up a seven-point lead after UCLA had taken the lead with six minutes to go. This is Trevor Wilson missing from outside, late with the rebound, and Duke about ready to put the finishing touches on UCLA to move into the regional final. A foul is called against the Bruins. Once UCLA took the lead, Duke regrouped, and if we go back over the last two minutes, UCLA is forcing the shots, the shots that are being missed at this time. Each team with two timeouts remaining, no fouls to give, and the possession arrow faces UCLA. And Christian Leitner, who had been struggling offensively coming into this game, and burdened with four personal fouls, has played his best game by far of the tournament. Now with 21 points. But you're right, UCLA had a one-point lead, and Phil Henderson, who has hit six three-point shots, came right back with a three to put Duke in front, and they haven't been headed since. That was a 6-15 mark. Now, Coach K's description of Leitner is that he is gifted. He's 6'11", 225, uh, extending emphasis for the game, and he just feels that he's going to get better and better. Martin going for three and misses. Trevor Wilson and the basket and the foul call by UCLA. They have one timeout left. One timeout left by the board. During Hurricane Hugo, when speed was critical, the Allstate team helped thousands of policyholders get a fast start on recovery. All the debris that's piled back here is part of my house. This huge oak tree is about six feet in diameter fell across our carport. And uh, well, thank hopefully you so that'll much. take care of it for you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so Thanks, much. Okay. I appreciate it. Allstate's been so good to me. From the Far East to Europe. Across the Caribbean and throughout North America.
Only one airline covers so much of the world with so much warmth. We love to What's it take to win in college basketball? What's it take to win in 7-Up's college basketball championship game? That hard work could win you a limited edition Ford Mustang or a chance at prizes worth $20 million. So start practicing. One in 12 are winners. You'll be even talking all game of the emphasis that Coach K puts on defense. But since Duke took the lead for good with four and a half minutes to go in the game, UCLA has really had no shot. They've hit on only two of nine from the field, and Duke has just clamped down. Now, if you go back to the beginning of the second half for a 10-minute period, UCLA was controlling their offensive board. But since this two for nine, they have not re received the second shot. McCaffrey is fouled as double team, just trying to stop the clock as best they can. One minute remaining. Foul is on Wilson. It's the first time that we've seen UCLA go out into a zone press and trap hard on that first inbound pass. McCaffrey will go to the line, shooting 80% for the year. Jim Harrick deserves a lot of credit for bringing UCLA back. They came in fourth in the Pac-10 regular season. Finished if they don't come back here 22 and 11 but as he said better than the record indicated and he's right he's done an excellent job and when you remember that they have one freshman three sophomores in your starting lineup you know a lot of people forget Pepperdine when he coached at Pepperdine he won five league titles and was coach of the year four times so you know he's been around the horn a little bit here <laughs> he came very nearly came close to beating North Carolina State back in 83 lost in double overtime and NC State had that miracle year. Ala Abdel Nabi has come back in the game. Caffrey goes out. Under a minute remaining. Nine point game. Tracy Murray hits a three. <laughs> bigger they are, the longer they can shoot. And this is a three point basket. Timeout. UCLA is out of timeout. If you choose to finance or lease your new GM vehicle someplace other than GMAC, you might find yourself waiting in line instead of out hugging one. GMAC. Nobody wants to get you into your new GM car or truck faster. Now it eats these things, all right? It opens its mouth, and in it goes. Peter, what? no TV till you've had your breakfast. Now it eats these things, all right? Peter! Well, don't worry, Mr. Bowen, you're covered. Thank you. It's automatic when you use the American Express card. Lost, stolen, or damaged, a way to protect the things you buy. After the scraping, after soothes, after the burning, after soothes, after aftershave skin conditioner, uh, nothing's more soothing after. I'm men and My brother said, help me out. Now I've got a backache that could last all day. But I don't take aspirin or Tylenol. Today, it's Advil. Advil relieves my aching back. And it's gentler to my stomach than aspirin. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. UCLA has used its last timeout. Don McLean goes out and Mitchell Butler replaces him. Six point game. That's a couple of three point baskets by Tracy Murray, the way that looks up there on the ball. Well, they're going all out now. Full court, man to man. Switching on any kind of a cross. Leitner finds McCaffrey. And this is a good free throw shooting team, remember, as Leitner is fouled by Murray, and he'll go to shoot the one and one. Now, the main objective now is that you go for the steal. If you don't get it, you foul quickly. You force Duke to go that the other end and make the one and one. 
You're only down two threes, and you have some excellent three-point shooters on your team when you're UCLA. Al Abdel Nabi is Mike Krzyzewski using the defensive player in Abdel Nabi and the offensive man in McCaffrey. Leitner now with 23 points in the game, going along with 14 rebounds, and Duke has missed only three free throws tonight. UCLA has missed 12. Missed 12. That's right. A big stat because UCLA had 32 opportunities tonight. He went to the line a lot more than Duke did. Texas leading Xavier in the second half with 7.45 to go. Turnover, and they'll foul Ricky with 39 seconds left. Trevor Wilson with his fourth foul. But even though they got it down to six points, the way, you, the way Duke has been shooting free throws, the lead might have been 10 or more. And I want to tell our audience that we'll be sending you down to Dallas for what should be the exciting finish of the Texas Xavier semifinal. Arkansas defeated North Carolina earlier, and uh, Clemson lost to Connecticut. So the ACC, which had four teams in their final eight, now down to two. Georgia Tech and Duke, which should advance here. Duke plays Michigan State tomorrow night. Ricky made one out of two, only the fourth miss tonight for the Devils. Lead is nine. Trevor Wilson. Abdel Nabi got a piece of it. Garrett Martin throws up an air ball, and Abdel Nabi is fouled. And he'll go to the line. You know, Abdel Nabi here, it, that was a, a key block right there on, on Trevor Wilson going for a dunk. He made another key block when he first came off the bench with four fouls. That was critical. Trevor Wilson is fouled out, Hubie, with 16 points, and that's the last game in his career at UCLA. There's Abdel Nabi's parents, but the UCLA bench around Trevor Wilson, the senior from Sherman Oaks, California, has played his last game, a terrific career. You know, he was rewarded by making that all pack 10 for three consecutive years. There have only been six players at UCLA to accomplish that feat. Trevor Wilson, whose problems earlier was to cool it. He's kind of lost his cool too many times, but he finally got that under control. It looked like the only time UCLA stumbled during the regular season is when Wilson had the injured wrist. Tracy Murray with a three-point shot. That is his third of this game. The lead is seven. Time is running out. Davis. See what you like here is right before the foul is going to happen, Duke will pass the basketball. And Abdel Nabi at the buzzer. The game is over. The basket counts. And the Duke Blue Devils have won it. to the regional final here at East Rutherford against the University of Connecticut. UCLA finishes at 22 and 11, so it'll be Duke of the ACC and Connecticut, the top seed from the Big East on Saturday. Don McLean of UCLA and Christian Leitner of Duke are our Chevrolet players of the game. Final was 90 to 81. The Blue Devils still love this Florida East Rutherford, New Jersey. And right now, let's send you back to our New York studios in Jim Nance. Dick, well, thank you. So Saturday in the East Final will be a one seed Connecticut, Connecticut against the three seed Duke. And by the way, Connecticut only one other time has been to a regional final. That was 1964, and Duke beat Connecticut back in 64, 101 to 54, a game that was held in Raleigh. Now look at this one. Xavier had a 16-point lead at one time. It's now down.